What's up, you guys? Yo, what's up, you guys? Welcome back to another video. This is probably gonna be our last video before Ramadan starts, inshallah. By the time this one go comes up, maybe it's already Ramadan. Yeah, but. maybe. But we're gonna be doing daily Ram almost daily Ramadan vlogs. <laughs> almost. We can't promise you. Last year we promised, but we couldn't do it. But this time we're gonna be posting. We're a gonna lot try of harder this time. Ramadan vlogs yeah. in Dubai and how it's gonna work. But anyways, this video <laughs> is gonna be a vlog of a quick last-minute trip that we decided to take right before Ramadan. Well done. Um, and this is probably the most beautiful place we've ever been to. So, I don't know how Dawood feels about it, but I love I it. Feel that Long way. story short, this place was supposed to be our honeymoon destination, but they don't even COVID know happened. what is this place? The Maldives. Yeah, the mall <laughs> the Maldives was supposed to be our honeymoon destination. Can you do that again? <laughs> <laughs> but um, we didn't get to go because the COVID happened and we waited it out and you know the restrictions weren't um, open here yet by the time we wanted to go on our honeymoon so we went to Greece instead mm -hmm. which we loved Santorini was amazing was but this mustahil like next level so you guys nice. if you want ultimate relaxation and ultimate like picturesque and Instagram worthy type of vacation the Maldives hands down and the people here incredibly so kind nice. incredibly so nice. kind wow I mean, why wouldn't they be? They live in the most beautiful place on earth. So let us tell you, <laughs> Dawood's having tea. Let us tell you what we've been up to so far because this is the second day we are here. Yesterday we were so tired. So what we, we did was sleep. we kind of checked out our hotel room or villa room. Which you guys are gonna see right now. Yes, so we'll show you a quick tour of the villa. All right, so we're starting off on the outside. We had a corner unit, which meant that we had the most privacy. Of course, that was amazing, especially because I'm a hijabi. They also left us two bikes to take around the resort, which was really awesome. As soon as you walk into the villa, you go into the living room. This is where they left us some snacks so that we can munch on them throughout the day. And then you walk over to the other side where the bedroom is. They left a cute little welcome note made out of leaves, which was so cute. Right behind there you'll find the dressing area and shower and then go ocean the agency that brought us here to the maldives also left us a prayer mat and quran which was so sweet of them and then of course once you head outside you have that beautiful amazing view that is so so nice and it's all private and hijabi friendly because the one side is the ocean and the other side is completely blocked off this is where i got to tan and swim without my hijab which was so amazing there's also a staircase that goes all the way down to the ocean this is where you can take snorkeling gear and check out all the amazing fish down there in case you guys are wondering we decided to come to the amila resort and our beautiful friend lisa who has a agency called go ocean she helped us get here um, she planned the whole trip for us including flights and all that so thank you so much to her yeah. I will leave all their details down below you can book directly with her if you want the best pricing and just the easiest um, kind of like you know I easiest way to I, I get can't here <laughs> I can't imagine you doing it on your own you yes. definitely need someone to help you yes an agency for because sure it is a lot of bit, details there's a lot of it's a little yeah exactly <laughs> honestly like camera whatever video pictures it's even more beautiful right in person. Now. Like, unbelievable. And then today, we went for a massage. Oh, well, at first, we actually tanned out in the infinity yes, pool. Yes, yes. So that's why you see maybe a little bit of color. A little bit of color. And then we went for a 60-minute massage, which where we are at right now. We are outside. We were having some tea after our massage, and the massage was so good. Oh, oh my god. Oh. <laughs> So now we are heading towards the restaurant area we on a golf cart. So cool. You get to take this around the island basically. And we are going to try to find something to eat because we're so hungry. Um, and then maybe chill by the pool. You know what or... you didn't mention? What? The floating breakfast. Oh yeah. You guys, we had a floating breakfast this morning and it was so cute. You know like when you see it on like Instagram and Tumblr and you're like, oh this is cute but whatever. Like, no, it's actually so cute and so fun to do. So that's what we did this what morning. What the heck is Tumblr? What do you mean? Tumblr? Yeah, Tumblr is where like everyone used Instagram, to- Instagram, Facebook, TikTok, Yeah, like Pinterest, Tumblr. Tumblr. But Tumblr is like where you used to have those, like all those inspo pictures when you were younger. Mm. I'm living my Tumblr life. Okay, enjoy <laughs> myspace.com. <laughs> Let me quickly show you guys what the floating breakfast looked like. Guys, can you believe that we are finally experiencing the floating breakfast that we see on everyone's like Instagram and all these like Pinterest boards like 
This is real. You guys, this is so cute. Look at this. We have acai, we have fresh fruit, we have croissants, a little bit of like, you know, bread, sausages. I don't know what that is. I think it's like a pudding. That's like chia pudding. So cute. I'm just waiting for the acai bowl after we take all this content because it's yeah. melting. Show them the view. Show them and the then view. check out this view. I'm going to push this there. Oh my gosh. Dream come true. Like literally, I'm so mind blown that beaches like this exist. Like look like how Lake Ontario. Who? Dude, what? Who? What is Lake Ontario? <laughs> but look how clear the sand is. It's white and soft. The and sand is so soft. Like this so is just beautiful. a small part. And by the way, guess who forgot to film the food? That one had one job. His job is to vlog this trip for YouTube, and he's failing already. So. I failed. I, I I just wanted to eat the food. Can I give you something? Yes. <laughs> you guys we're going on a sand bank party what like, is that what is that apparently there's a sand bank in the middle of the water and they take you on a boat there and then you have a party there in the middle of the water cool so, let's see okay guys so a boat just took us to the middle of the ocean or sea <laughs> we a don't even know what it is sand bank that's just sitting in the middle of the sea like around me is all water. It's not one side water. It's, it's around me. So cool. So we're in the middle there, and I messed up. No one told me I'm supposed to wear swimming swimming shorts. <laughs> I didn't know it was supposed to. Swim. I thought this was something else. The guy that didn't really explain to me that that's what we're gonna do. So, so um, you kind of have to swim in your boxers. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go somewhere really private. There's no one really here, so I'm gonna go really private somewhere and actually swim my boxers. Wow, first time for everything. <laughs> I know, right? Maybe I should take it off too. <laughs> Like, look at the sand. Guys, like, how is this real? Like, it looks like the magic sand that you buy for kids to make, like, stuff out of it. <laughs> so nice, and it's so white. Oh my god, this is unreal. I've never seen sand like this before. And we're on the middle of a sandbank. That's crazy. Hey guys, so it's the third day here. Um, I'm getting kind of depressed that we're leaving soon. Uh, we have one more night left. Actually, no, two more nights, Jasmine? Yeah. Two more nights left. So we're gonna make the best out of this day. I'm gonna try to capture as much content as I can, but at the same time, we wanna enjoy this trip a lot. So I'm gonna apologize in advance if I don't show too much, but um, such an amazing trip so far. We're having so much fun. It's like a dream come true. It's like paradise. Wallah, this is like unreal. I don't know how much more to emphasize. I hope these, this video does its justice, but if not, you have to come here yourselves because this trip is absolutely mind blowing. All right, so now we're heading to lunch, and this is what takes us to all the way down there. Hello, these guys are so nice. How are you doing? Hi. So it takes us all the way to the beach area where we have lunch right now, and I'm super hungry, so let's go. Let's go, baby. Let's go, baby. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm so shaky. <laughs> oh, guys, how clear is this water? Oh my god. Oh, ah. wow. Oh man. This literally feels like a vacation. Like, even though we're kind of working here, it literally feels like a vacation. Like, guys, amazing. Amazing. Jasmine, show them what I'm doing. Mwah. Mwah. <laughs> I can barely see anything because it's so sunny. But you guys, if any one of you is contemplating, like trying to figure out where you're trying to go on your honeymoon, your anniversary, a quick family vacation, if you think anywhere else than the Maldives, we can't be friends. <laughs> like I forbid you to go anywhere else. If you haven't been to the Maldives, you have to. Like literally, I wish that we could do our honeymoon all over again. I know. Like I actually Let's wish we could do it all over again. Let's just make this into our honeymoon. One, two, three. Honeymoon. <laughs> honeymoon activated. But I know you too well now. But honestly, like this is a 10 out of 10 experience. And we've traveled a lot. I've traveled a lot, you guys. Like this tops anything I've ever seen in my entire life. SubhanAllah. Like it makes you really lock in and be like, yo, God is real. <laughs> like SubhanAllah, the things that you see on this earth, it's like. The stars, especially the stars. Mind blowing. By the way, guys, tonight, I don't know if Dawood mentioned it, but we're doing something called glamping, and it's camping, but glam. 
and it's in like a bubble where you're in the middle of the forest but you're in a bubble a clear bubble so you get to see all the stars and just have a really cool like sleepover so i'm so excited we're excited for that oh my god let's see how it is <laughs> so right now we're just riding our bike down to the beach area Woo! <laughs> so we're just about to go for a swim in this clister in this crystal clear water um jasmine's in her potato head burkini burkini <laughs> and yeah we're just gonna swim it's very hot um the water is crystal crystal clear so definitely gonna enjoy that and yeah yeah just arrived to what they call here at the amula resort glamping you guys it's not basically camping. no not camping glamping. glamping and it's basically like my type of camping you guys look at this it is literally a huge dome in the middle of the forest in front of the water like clear dome so that you could see the stars at night and there's also like a sink over there um some towels and then there's the beautiful water in front of us where we're gonna be sleeping I call the right side of the bed. No! Yo, guys, it's literally you could see through and you could probably see all the stars while we're sleeping. It's so cool. There's even board games. Whoa! All right. We are inside the dome. Helium dome! Is helium. What is it? It's air. <laughs> what? You think you could sleep in helium all night long? You want to kill yourself? Bro, I can't breathe, to be honest with you. <laughs> Why? It's helium! Our voices are going to change. My ears feel funny. Yeah. Right? Like, they sound weird. Anyways, we're inside the bubble now. And you guys, by the way, Amila Resort is one of the only two resorts in all of Maldives that offers this glamping experience. So, definitely a must-see if you come here. This is, I think, a one-in-a-lifetime experience for sure. We're going to have so much fun and i think it's totally worth it yes let me show you guys the circle bed that jasmine always wanted and then the view over here i like the view, I like the view. you do <laughs> and there's then, a hammock nice that's where we're gonna chill soon and then the entrance is here and it's in this dome oh by the way guys we learned that this dome is like inflated and it's super sensitive to like opening up the door so you have to always have the door shut and you have to go in quickly and exit quickly um or else it will deflate so i feel like i'm gonna die in here <laughs> the breathing is weird i have to get used to it but then you know we're gonna see the stars at night yeah, and whatnot so this is gonna be amazing romantic give me your hand romantic. Oh. <laughs> guys 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 ah! that was a bat <laughs> oh, we're not even fit for glamping. oh my god i'm hiding underneath this dome the whole time good morning guys good morning okay again i have failed to show you guys the food because they have like an all-you-can-eat breakfast and i just want to start eating maybe i'll just show clips of there but anyways yesterday's sleep was unreal we got to see the stars you get to see the stars because it's pitch dark outside there's no um light pollution so we got to enjoy that. Someone on Instagram DM'd me and said it looks like Sandy's house from Spongebob. It actually does. <laughs> it actually does. <laughs> like exactly the same. That's actually so funny. That's probably we're my not, favorite DM. <laughs> yeah, but we're not underwater, so. Thank God for that. Right now, Dawood is going to go snorkeling, you guys. They actually left us a snorkeling or two snorkeling kits um, when we first arrived to the villa. And I haven't tried it because... <laughs> Jazz was too scared to go snorkeling. No, I'm not scared. I just don't want to put my hijab underwater. A one in a lifetime opportunity, and she doesn't want to try it. One in a lifetime opportunity. <laughs> but yo, guys, it's kind of like I, I would need a partner to go in. If I had a partner to swim with me, I would go in snorkeling. But since I'm by myself, I'm just gonna go like just to see and then come out. So our villa has like stairs that go down to the like the main <gasps> sea or water or whatever it is. I don't even know if it's a sea or ocean at this point. Um, so we're gonna go down those stairs and watch Dawood snorkel and see fish and freak out. So this is the stairs that leads down to the water. And this is Mr. Dawood. <laughs> Oh yeah, buddy! Oh yeah, buddy! <laughs> Alright, so Dawood is in the water now. <laughs> I'm kinda scared. 
scared. He's freaking out already. <laughs> so Dawood is really, really freaked out by fish. Um, so the fact that he's doing this is pretty funny. He's like holding on to the stairs so that so that he can run away as soon as he sees a big fish. All right, so Dawood again failed at filming our food. That's literally his only job and he failed. So I'm showing you guys my soup. There's garlic bread over there. And Dawood has like finished his soup. And then we have pizza coming and a falafel burger, yummy. They also just brought us some fresh coconut water. I've never tried this before. Let's go taste test. Tastes natural. <laughs> no? It's good and not good. I think because he like cold drinks, it's not cold. I think it's good. Ugh, oh, you're so extra. Don't listen to him, guys. Again, Dawood failing at you, you, showing. You fail. you fail too. <laughs> yeah, but look at yours. He put it back half eaten. <laughs> guys, we used to literally suck at filming I get so, our I food. Get so excited, but we hey, get so excited. Them, oh, yeah, yeah. Burger. We got a falafel burger. That looks really good actually. And then a pizza, margarita pizza. And we showed you guys the coconuts earlier, though it is still not not vibing with the coconuts. <laughs> guys, it is literally 6 a.m. I woke up at 5.30. Our flight is today. Our vacation is over, unfortunately. But we're going back to Dubai. Yeah, which is nice. At least we're not going back to Canada. <laughs> yes. Um, and it's actually, technically, the first day of Ramadan. Woohoo! Ramadan, Ramadan Mubarak, you guys. We are honestly so excited for Ramadan and just like experiencing it again, like we said, for the first time in Dubai, in, in, in the Middle East. We've never done that before. So we're really excited. We hope that like we create a lot of content for you guys and we actually want you to leave any type of content you want us to produce. In the comment section yes. down below. Down below. We hope you guys enjoyed this video. We um, absolutely love the Maldives. Yes. Highly recommended, like I said, 20,000 times in this video. Yes, yes. Um, if you're going on a honeymoon, Maldives, 100%. Anniversary, any of that. 100%. Or just, just leisure vacation. You just want to have fun and it. relax. So, so beautiful. So beautiful. And definitely uh, use our agency because she was awesome. And I think it would be really hard to, to book, book it without an agency. Yes, because there's, yeah. there's different flights involved. And yeah. So we'll leave all the details down below if you're interested in the resort that we went to, the agency that we um, worked with all that good stuff but anyways we'll see you guys because we have to catch Ramadan our flights Karim, guys. Ramadan see you guys Karim. in the next video